Hey guys, this is Nanette with Heart Baby Home. Today we're looking at heart number 58, hypoplastic left heart syndrome with DORV and TAPVR. HLHS, that's hypoplastic left heart syndrome. That's where the left side of the heart is underdeveloped, particularly the left ventricle. It can also affect the aorta and the valves that control blood flow to and from the left ventricle, that's the mitral valve and also the aortic valve. It can also cause some atrial septal defects um, just from the extra pressure in the heart. And then a lot of times you'll have a very large patent ductus arteriosus. MGA, malposition of the great arteries. So compared to a normal heart, the great arteries, that's the pulmonary artery and the aorta, they come out of the left and right ventricle the way they're supposed to, but just after the valve, they cross in a way that's just different than normal. So normally the aorta is behind the pulmonary artery, more towards the patient's back, and in a malposed heart, then when it crosses just after the valve, then the aorta is towards the patient's front more than the pulmonary artery. P.S. Pulmonary stenosis. So pulmonary has to do with the lungs and stenosis means narrowing. So pulmonary stenosis is where you have a narrowing at or near the pulmonary valve, which is where oxygen poor blood from the heart is supposed to go out into the pulmonary artery to get to the lungs and pick up more oxygen. So it just makes it harder for that blood to get out of the heart and go where it's supposed to go. DORV double outlet right ventricle. That's where both the pulmonary artery and the aorta carrying blood away from the heart come out of that right ventricle. So normally the aorta carries oxygen rich blood from the left ventricle and the pulmonary artery carries oxygen poor blood from the right ventricle. But where they're both coming out of the right ventricle, a lot of the times that right ventricle will be smaller than normal because so much blood is coming out of it all the time. The bidirectional glen or hemifontan procedure, uh, this is where they take the blood that's coming back from the top half of the body and they divert it so that it flows directly into the lungs. So that takes some of the workload off of the heart. Um, and there'll be a cath to test the pressure in the lungs before the glen. Uh, to make sure that the pressure isn't too high in the lungs, uh, otherwise it won't work. So basically there's three steps. They go in and they take out the section of the pulmonary artery that takes blood out of the heart to the lungs because they won't be using it anymore. And then in step two, that's where they take blood that's coming back from the top half of the body in that superior vena cava and they just put it directly into that branch of the pulmonary artery that's going to the lungs. The Fontan procedure, that's the third step, and what they do is they take oxygen poor blood that's coming back from the lower half of your body and they put it so that it goes directly into the pulmonary artery and into the lungs. So now your heart is not pumping any blood into the lungs to get oxygen. It all happens kind of with gravity and just flowing and so all of the blood that's inside the heart is oxygen rich blood ready to go out to your body. What they do is they take a conduit and they attach the lower vena cava uh, to the upper one and then they have that attached to the pulmonary artery so it just goes directly in. Um, and if it's inside the heart that's called an in interior fontan and if they attach it through the outside of you know around the outside of the heart then that's an exterior fontan. Um, either way there's usually a fenestration which is just a small hole that allows blood to go out into the right atrium um, and that's just in case there's too much pressure um, a lot of times kids will have trouble if there is too much pressure after the fontan and so the fenestration just helps the body get adjusted to it so that they don't develop issues with that. 
And it looks like that's everything for this heart. So if you appreciated this video, please subscribe to my channel. That directly helps me. And if you have any questions or you would like me to draw you a new heart image, you can find me at www.heartbabyhome.com slash contact. And if you just want to chat, I am also on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thank you.